Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Let's Fly RC. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really awesome workbench. And this workbench I use myself at home to build and I absolutely love it. Um, it's kind of a combination of something that I heard over at the Crashcast. If you listen to that, Michael Hancock puts on a great podcast called the Crashcast. And he had some ideas on his workbench. I took those, modified them a little bit, and made my own. Uh, I also took some ideas from uh, one of the flight test moderators. His name is uh, Fred, and he's Flying Monkey on the forums. Uh, we took a couple of those ideas, combined them, and made a really great workbench. And you'll see why it's so great uh, as we go through this video. First, we're going to start out with the standard Walmart six-foot folding table. And this is the folding table from Walmart. This is the sticker that comes on it. The next part of the project is a door from Home Depot. And now this is a 36 inch by 80 inch door and it's just a flat door with no holes or anything in it. And the reason this works so well is that it's perfectly flat surface. It's going to make all of your wings perfectly straight and everything that you build perfectly straight. And this was an idea I got from Crash over at Michael Hancock over at the Crash Cast. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take this piece of wood and lay it on top of the table. And it's not very heavy, so it's a one person job. And I usually do everything myself, so I'm going to show you pretty much how to do everything as a one-person job here. Try to line it up, get it straight as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect, and you can kind of move this around depending on what you need at your own personal location. Alright, so once you have everything straight the way you want it, we're going to take some one inch drywall screws and a drill and screw them in from the bottom. Now I try to find the corners first and, uh, and then I get, the, get it, I get it into the holes where the, the, the plastic is the thinnest. Uh, that way it has plenty of length to go through. If you try to go through the thickest parts you'll miss the wood completely. So just grab a whole bunch of screws, put in about 10 of them or so, that should be plenty. And yeah. Now the next thing I like to do is I like to have my cutting mats down on this flat table and you space them out however you want um, and they're, these are the cutting mats I get from Walmart. They're 30, I think they're about $33 a piece approximately um, and these mats are the best. These are 24 inches wide by 36 inches long and they are huge so they take up the whole table if you get two of them. Now the next part is uh, this was actually Fred's idea, uh, Flying Monkey on the forums of Flight Test, and this is some sheet metal. He had an idea of putting metal under your board so that you could have a magnetic surface to work on, in case you need to use magnets to hold something down. Now these are 12 inch by 24 inch, 26 gauge plates that I got at Home Depot. And what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to actually slide them under my mat on one side, and that way one side will be magnetic if I need to use it. There we go. Now the next part of this process is the best part of the whole thing. And this was something that I came up with and I absolutely loved working on my glass surface because hot glue does not stick to glass. You put it on there and it might stick for a second but you hit it with a razor blade once it dries and it pops right off of there. So it keeps your, your work surface 100% clean all the time. Razor blades are not going to gouge your glass, so you can cut all you want without messing up your cutting mats. And you have your mats right underneath the glass. It's see-through. It's awesome. you got your magnetic surface now you can put magnets down to. I'm going to show you how to put the sliding glass door on top of this as one person and take it apart and you'll have a glass surface. Now once you get the screws out, be very careful, but you want to kind of knock these guys out with a hammer a little bit at a time. Try not to hit the glass. Now for me, I take these guys and razor blade them off because I'm using a used door and they're really dirty and I want to try to keep my table as clean as possible. So I cut those off. 
And there you have it, an awesome table. Now if you pick up some of these neodymium magnets from Home Depot in the shape of a washer, they will stick right to that really well. You probably need to go with the neodymiums because they're stronger than standard magnets and it's got to go through a little bit of a surface. And I'm having a hard time picking them off of here, so it's definitely doing its job. And if you need to get them off, you can just slide them to the edge where there's no magnet and pops right off. Well, I hope I helped you out here and I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope to give you great videos to come. Thank you for watching.